हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संतोष काले असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग माणेगोबी के बारामती टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑपरेशन ऑन सिग्नल्स समटाइम्स अ गिवन मैथमेटिकल फंक्शन मे कंप्लीटली डिस्क्राइब अ सिग्नल सो डिफरेंट ऑपरेशंस आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर डिफरेंट पर्पजेस of arbitrary signals the operation on signal can be first time shifting operation second time scaling operation and third time inversion or time folding operation let us consider the first type of operation is time shifting operation let x of t be the original signal as shown in the figure so x of t is a rectangular pulse which is present from minus 2 to plus 2 having the amplitude value 1 if you shift x of t by x of t minus t 0 the original signal is shifted by t0 time instant then the original signal get delayed by t0 time instant that means you have to shift the original signals towards right hand side which can produce the delay of original signal if you consider x of t be the original signal and x of t minus t0 be the shifted version of original signal so t0 can represent the delay by which original signal get shifted by t0 time instant as shown in the figure the original signal is from minus 2 to plus 2 and if we shift this signal by t0 time instant then this minus 2 time instant get shifted to t0 minus 2 time instant and plus 2 time instant get shifted to t0 plus 2 time instant so this is called as time shifting operation let us consider x of t once again and it is shifted by x of t plus t0 that original signal is shifted by t0 time instant which represent the advance of the signal means you have to shift the original signal towards left hand side by t0 time instant which is called as advancing of a signals we have to shift the original signals towards left hand side by t0 time instant so in the original figure we know that the x of t is present from minus 2 to plus 2 and if we shift the signals x of t by x of t plus t0 then you are getting the time instant on the left hand side or minus t0 minus 2 and minus t0 plus 2 which can represent advance of a signal next important operations performed on the signal is time scaling operation if you consider the original signal is x of t then x of at can represent the time scale version of original signal x of t let us consider the different conditions for example if a is greater than 1 and period of the function x of t reduces that means the function can speed up and the graph of the function shrinks means we can say that depending upon the value of a we can either have 
compression or signal expansion but if we have value of a greater than 1 then compression of the signal can be takes place consider the second condition if value of a is less than 1 if value of a is less than 1 then period of the original waveform x of t increases and the function slow down function slow down that means graph of the function expands let us consider x of t be the original signals and you have to draw the signal y of t which is equal to x of 2t so x of 2t can represent the original signal scale by factor of 2 in this case value of a it is 2 so this is the first condition whenever value of a is greater than 1 then compression of the signal can be takes place so period of x of t is 2 and the period of y of t is 1 which indicate that if the original signal is scaled by the factor of 2 and compression can be takes place let us consider the original signal is y of t from 0 to 3 time instant having the amplitude value 2 and you have to find w of t this is equal to y of 3t so y of 3t can represent the time scale version of original signal y of t that original signal scale by factor of 3 so original signal get compressed and it is represented as a w of t this is equal to y of 3t speed up by factor of 3 and let us consider v of t this is equal to y of t upon 3 or this is equal to y of 0.33 t which can represent value of a it is 0.33 means less than 1 and we know the condition whenever value of a is less than 1 then expansion of the signal can be takes place so this figure can represent expansion and this figure can represent compression so in the time scale version compression and expansion can be takes place depending on the value of a whether a is greater than 1 or whether a is less than 1 now the next important operation on the signal is time reversal operation sometimes this operation it is called as time folding operation in time reversal signal is reverse with respect to time that means y of t equal to x of minus t for the given function let us consider some graphical representation for time reversal operation this is the original signal x of t this signal it is present from t1 time instant to t2 t1 is negative time instant this is the 0 and t2 it is positive in the time reversal operation the reversal of the time it can be takes place and it is shown in the second figure that is y of t equal to x of minus t in the time reversal operation now let us consider the operation of discrete time functions so in the time shifting n get replaced by n plus n0 let us see the plot of g of n 
discrete time function for different values of n from minus 1 to plus 10 we have amplitude values as g of n equal to plus 1 to 0 if this original signal is shifted by plus 3 factor that is g of n plus 3 so g of n plus 3 can represent advancing operation let us consider the different time instant from minus 4 minus 3 to 7 so n plus 3 can become respect to n plus 3 can become from minus 1 to 10 and g of n plus 3 can become 1 to 0 so this g of n plus 3 can represent advancing of a signals you, you have to shift the original signals towards left hand side by the three sample position now let us see the operation of discrete functions we know that if n get replaced by k into the n where k is an integer and we know the basics whenever value of a it is greater than 1 then compression of the signal can be takes place it is shown in the figure this is the g of n and this is g of 2 times of n where the compression can be takes place now another important operations is the precedence rule for time shifting and time scaling if you consider example y of t equal to x of a t minus b that means first of all you have to find y of 0 this is equal to x of minus b and x of 0 this is equal to y of b upon a let us consider a practical example you have to find the or you have to draw the signal y of t which is equal to x of 2t plus 3 so first of all you have to perform time shifting operation that is x of t plus 3 and then you can perform the time scaling operation that is t get replaced by 2 times of t so this is the precedence rule means first of all you have to perform time shifting operation and then you can perform the time scaling operation see the precedence rule for discrete time signal this is x of n can represent discrete time original signal first of all we have to perform time shifting operation that original signal shifted towards left hand side by three sample position because v of n equal to x of n plus 3 can represent advancing of a original signal by three sample position and then you have to scale that signal by the factor of 2 that values of n can get replaced by values of 2 times of n so this is the precedence rule first of all you have to perform shifting operation and then you can perform time scaling operation so this is all about the important operations performed on the signals so thank you very much